Thank you, Michelle, for introducing my name. Well, I don't have to introduce my name again, once again. So as Michelle said, my name is Ibtisam Harakat, and my Korean name is Kim Miso. And I'm a girl from Morocco. Well, hello, everyone. I'm a girl from Morocco, and uh, I choose the name Kim Miso as your name because my real name means smile, and smile in Korean means miso. But uh, the username, Kim, actually it was just a coincidence. Uh, I tried a lot of usernames like Choi Miso, Lee Miso, Park Miso, but nothing fits Miso. Like nothing fitted, only Kim Miso. It was actually a beautiful name and I feel it fits my personality as well. So that's why how I choose my, my name, Korean name. And as you know, guys, uh, I live in Korea, but before we start talking about our topic, don't dream for it, work for it, let me just give you a brief intro introduction about me, who is Kim Miso. Kim Miso, a girl, lives in Korea, and I work as influencer, entertainer, and sometimes model here in Korea, and I became the ambassador of Morocco in 2020 with JIN, Global, uh, Network, uh, Global Influencer Network Entertainment. And I'm really proud of it to be a part of this project and to be ambassador of my country here in Korea. I started working in the media industry uh, when I realized that I really love watching people uh, smiling or laughing while they're watching my videos. Like, I felt warm, I felt butterflies in my stomach, and that's how I decided to start to be an entertainer. Yeah, and that was one of my dreams. So speak of dreams. So as you guys know, Morocco is known with his beautiful colors of each city. And each city has different feelings and culture. You will feel that you're not in Morocco. So yeah, speaking of dreams. We all have dreams, right? When we was young, till now. Uh, and does anyone know the real meaning of dream, the word dream? Some people, they will think it's a series of thoughts or image or imagination in our head. Yeah, that's right. It makes us go out from the outside world to our own world. And that makes us happy to live the life that we want, to dream about the jobs that we need to, to want to achieve or want to work. But you will figure out after that it was just a short dream from 100 dreams that we want to achieve in our lives, right? And I'm not saying actually dreaming is a bad thing. It's a good thing to dream. We have the right to dream. Uh, it makes us alive. It makes us humans. But why don't we work for those dreams, not only dreaming? So that's what I had in these past, the last years. Miso, you need to achieve your dreams. Don't stay at home thinking, oh, I want to become this, I want to become that. No, you need to work for your dreams. So that's how I decide to move on. Okay, let's talk. When I was young a little bit, let's talk about the past. When I was a kid, I had a lot of dreams, as you guys. Uh, same, you had a lot of dreams when you, you was young. Some people want to be a policeman, some people want to be a doctor. Some of us wants to be a superman, I don't know. But when I was young, I want to learn magic, like Harry Potter. Is there any Harry Potter fan here? Oh, Shadok and Michelle, okay. So I was really a big fan of Harry Potter, and I thought that Harry Potter is real. And I wanted to learn magic, I want to have power, I want to, to be me, Kimi, so I want to show the world that, oh my God, I'm a power power girl. And sometimes I wanted to be an actress, you know, while I watching movies and I start like standing in front of the mirror and I say to my mom, mom, look at me. Do I look good? My mom always like, oh my God, she's making her own word again. I always like want to be someone known in this world. And one time and sometimes actually I wanted to visit India to marry my favorite actor, Shahrukh Khan, not Shahrukh, not you. 
I wanted to marry Shahrukh Khan, not you, Shahrukh. So he was really my like my role model in this life. I really love the Indian culture. I love the dance, the moves, the songs. I even learned how to speak Indian and start understanding Indian language and start watching movies without subtitles. So my mom, she was like, oh my God, this girl making me crazy. How could you understand this language? I told her, it's love, mom, it's love. And yeah, but I couldn't go to India. Why? Because I was young at that time. So instead of going to India, I told mom and family, I want to perform on stages. I want to show people that I can dance. Indian moves or Indian style or Indian culture. So I bought sari, you know, the you know, traditional clothes of India, and I started dancing on stages. And from there, people start knowing me and knowing Ipti Sam, not Kim Miso. And back in high school, I know uh, people start knowing me as the Indian girl. Like whenever I walk in the street, they just greet me like namaste, like this. So I was like happy. I was like, oh, that really makes me feel good. And that's how I start dreaming to be an entertainer. That's, from that time it started, ah, oh, I want to be famous, I want to be on TV, I want to show the world my talent. But as you know, guys, I came from an Arab country. Morocco, he's an Arab country. But as an Arab girl, we're the woman considered as a powerless. We don't have a power. And what I wanted to show to the Arab world and the world, I'm not a powerless girl. As you can see in this picture, I don't know if you can feel the power, but I wanted to show uh, with my face expression and everything that I'm really power girl even though I'm wearing hijab. And uh, you can see here I was wearing hijab but I removed it the last year because of medical reasons and my doctor told me to remove it uh, for now. So that's what I did. But at that time when I was wearing hijab, I wanted to show the Arab girls and the world that even hijabi girls has the right to dream. Even the hijabi girls has the right to travel. Even hijabi girls has the right to work like a man. We can, I don't want to be at home cleaning dishes, watching the kids. No. I want to make my own dreams. I want to move on. I want to travel to another country. I want to see the world. But still, in our Arab countries, we're still in our culture, women consider as a powerless. That's a little bit sad. But I start changing it letter by letter. And when I came to Korea, one of my dreams, I had a lot of dreams, but one of my dreams, I wanted to come to Korea to learn the beautiful Korean language. You know, when I heard the language, I just fell in love with it, like Chosarang, <laughs> the first love. And uh, I'm a person really love to learn new things. So when I came here, I wanted to learn the language, but I was afraid of something. And my biggest fear was, can Korean people, will Korean people accept me as who I am? Because Korea as a country, uh, not familiar with hijabi girls or with Islam, uh, like religion. So I was a little bit afraid. But the answer actually was yes. Korean people love me as who I am. I received really a lot of help from people that I've never imagined I will meet them in my life. And I'm still friend with them and I'm still thankful for them to help me to achieve my goals here in Korea. But I started my YouTube channel in 2018. I just wanted to show the beautiful culture to my Arab words, to family. But now we're one million family. I didn't know that I would make it till here, <laughs> but yeah. So people start loving my videos, start loving the way that I talk about Korea. I start showing them that the thing that we, sh we see on the media or on TV, it's not true. We need to come here and leave and see other people culture. But it wasn't easy actually. It was step by step. And when I came here, finally, I met my idols that I dreamed to meet. So BTS, we all know BTS, right? And Ben, the singer, she's a singer here in Korea and she was the first singer that I met her in Korea and do have an interview with her 
She was very nice and she made me feel relaxed and she was happy that she has an Arab fans. And after that, I start meeting another idols like VIV, Card, Teen Top, and even I got like invitation from Busan Comedy Festival as the ambassador of Morocco. And I will tell you a secret, guys. Actually, I'm a comedian in Morocco as well. So yeah, I start uh, my uh, comedy, comedy life here in Korea with stand-up comedy in Hyundai with my sambin name there, the Korean sambin name in KBS. So they invited me there. I was really happy to meet them and it was a dream of me. Some of you guys will, will think that it's not, it's not something big. But for me, it's a very big thing. It's a very big experience. It was one of my dreams. And I met Jannara, Jannara, and I act with her in a drama. Oh my God, how that happened. I was really, really, really happy. Okay, before we continue talking about our topic, I want to say something funny. I don't know if you will find it funny or not. But when I came here to Korea, I remember the first time I arrived to Korea knowing anything, the language, the culture. So I want to buy shoes. It was a very cold winter and I wanted to buy shoes, but I didn't know the name of shoes in Korean. So I asked my friend, hey, I want to buy shoes. Can you teach me how to say it? So he said, where do you want to buy it? I heard that people buy shoes in Gangnam. So it was like, okay, so go there. If you see the old lady, Imu, tell her, Imu, Ishimbal, Olmaya. So I was like, ah, okay, okay. In one hour, I was like literally practicing in the bus. Imu, Ishimbal, Olmaya. Imu, Ishimbal, Olmaya. But once I arrived, did you know what happened? I told her, Imu, Ishipal, Olmaya. Yeah. You know, Shipal actually is 18 in Korean. It's not a bad word, guys. It's not a bad word. But I was very shocked the way she looked at me and she was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, what? What? She was like, you're joking me? You're kidding me? I was like, no, what is the, how much this Shipal, please? She was like, oh my God, what's wrong with this foreigner girl? And another funny story actually happened to me. Uh, when I start learning the Korean language, you know, there's a formal way and informal way. So whenever I meet elder people, ajumma, harabuji, like ajashi, I always talk to them in an informal way. Like, yo, harabuji, what's up? How are you? But they never like get mad at me or like mocking me or something, just smile at me and they said, you don't know how to speak in formal way, right? And they teach me actually. I was embarrassed, I was shy. But actually, those embarrassed moments teach me how to become who I am now and teach me not to be shy or embarrassed of making mistakes. So these beautiful situations uh, that I still remember in my head um, make me stronger, actually, and uh, make me grow up. So what I want to deliver here that uh, don't be embarrassed of falling of mistakes. And the most import important thing is be nice to people, because as much as you give, as much as you will receive or more. So in the last, at last, what I wanted to say to you guys or to people who are watching me live, don't dream for it, but work for it. Be the change you want to see in this world. Thank you.